I am at Bergstrom Nissan, and they do indeed have a 2018 Nissan Leaf here. I'm gonna go talk to a sales guy, check it out. Maybe they'll let me take it for a ride. Let's just get a little view of the outside of the car. Uh, the 2018 has been totally redesigned. So the back end definitely looks very different than before. Uh, it looks more like a Nissan, if you ask me, uh, especially with the headlights, very unusual headlights on the previous Leafs. Uh, this, it looks like a Nissan. I mean, you look at any of these other cars, uh, it's a very, very similar look. And I've got the key in my pocket, so I'm just gonna hit start. And up on the steering wheel, a lot of this are, are some of those uh, kind of intelligent tech features, lane keep, uh, smart, uh, what do we, what do, what's the word? Uh, cruise control. You know, we've got uh, uh, lane keeping, blind spot detection. Um, the software on this car will even bring you to a stop in a traffic jam and get you moving again uh, once the car in front of you moves. Uh, nice stuff. And over here, of course, we've got the radio, but that also has things like uh, various map features. So if you want to know where to go for, uh, uh, to go find an EV charging station, for example, you can uh, look that up right here. Hey, let's just go see where we can find some charging stations. Near current location, well, right on our little screen, it shows a bunch, list a bunch right here. Um, and then we got all the other great stuff in here, um, like for audio, um, AM, FM, Bluetooth, USB iPod, aux, uh, satellite. Uh, down here we've got a uh, USB and an aux connection, 12 volt power. Uh, it's a nice car. I'm digging it. Glove box, nothing too fancy there, although it's kind of deep actually. Look at that, you can kind of go way back in there. Here is the view from the back seat. Um, with the front seat adjusted where I would be comfortable driving it, I exactly have enough room for my knees right here, no problem. Uh, headroom is not bad, but I am tall, um, six foot. My hair does brush the ceiling. I wouldn't mind a little more headroom, but at the same time, there's a lot of cars out there that are notorious uh, for bad headroom in the back, including uh, like the Chevy Volt, for example. Um, overall, the interior of the car is pretty darn nice. If we take a look back into the cargo area, there's quite a bit of space. It's uh, pretty deep and the charging cord is back there. And we're gonna take a look at that too. So this is a little something that I noticed in the fine print is that as one of your standard equipment items, uh, you get a charging cable with it, but it's only 120 volts. But if we look over here, this car has the technology package and the portable charge cable is rated for 120 or 240 volts. So I thought, aha, let's look in the trunk. So first of all, uh, the Leafs have usually had a pretty pretty good storage space overall. They're kind of nice and deep, and this is very much like that. Uh, of course, the back seats fold down, but um, first thing I noticed in here was this, which is clearly an adapter for the stock charger. And if I look, this is a brand new car. They don't even have any of this open yet. I'm the first guy messing with this. Um, if we look right here, this is a NEMA 1450 cable on a stock uh, portable EVSE. So I would definitely upgrade if I was to buy one of these cars new, make sure to get that. Um, and then it be, can be plugged into 120 or 240 volt power. This is perfect for campgrounds and all sorts of places like that. So if I wanna pop the hood for charging, we got the little charge release button right here. One nice thing to see is they've got a light, makes it much easier if you're uh, in a dark driveway for plugging in. And this has both your standard level one and level two, J1772, and your quick charge, which in this case is the Chatamo connection. So the big thing to remember on this particular car is that it's the SV trim, but it has this technology package. And that technology package, it's LED headlights, it's being able to do 240 on the charging cable, uh, but then it also gives you all of these fancy, uh, the blind spot warning, pro pilot, 
um, intelligent lane intervention, all these kind of high-end, almost semi-autonomous type vehicle features. So I did get to talk to the sales guy a bit. Uh, the SV with that technology package is a really nice combination. It's basically all the bells and whistles. The only thing that's missing compared to the SL, the highest trim level, is that bird's eye view camera system, which if you've ever seen that, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, it's really fantastic for parallel parking and things like that. Um, that's about the only thing this car doesn't have. Um, that said, if you take a look at this uh, newest generation of Nissan Leaf, um, check to see what the accessories are on there because, uh, you know, like in Wisconsin, for example, heated seats are kind of a nice thing. You know, just double check to make sure that you're getting the, the accessories that you're looking for. But that technology package looks really good. Um, I, of course, love having uh, fast charging, so having the Chatamo jack on there. And then even the trickle charger that comes with the car, having the upgraded one that can run on 240 volts pretty cool too. You can just keep that in your garage. You don't have to buy a separate one, but it's also portable and you could recharge at places like RV parks at 240 volts. So it's a pretty cool setup. So a big thank you to Bergstrom Nissan for letting me mess around with their Leaf over here. Uh, it's a pretty cool car. If you get a chance, definitely go check one out. Uh, now this one has the 40 kilowatt hour battery on it. 150 mile range. It's not quite the competitor to the Chevy Bolt, but it looks like next year's is going to be with a bigger battery that's going to be a little bit more competitive in terms of range, uh, in terms of style and features, accessories, all that on this car. Looks like it's a winner. So until next time, stay charged up.